I have built a Gen AI application on Cloud Run, but it doesn't produce the results I expect. Your prompts may need tuning. Let Ryan and I show you how. It's so good to have you back on serverless expeditions again, Lion and Ryan. We are happy to be here, Martin. What uh, Google team are you guys on? We are customer solutions engineers based in Google's Singapore office. Our job is to drive technical innovation and deploy customized AI solutions in advertising sales. Cool. As part of our job, we teach a workshop on how to write effective prompt for AI applications. Just what I need. I've built an application for an online store. The application helps customer service reps deal with emails coming in from customers, but it isn't very helpful. What is your current prompt? Here's an example email from a customer of the online store, and I want the LLM to help the customer service rep with it. And here is the prompt uh, that my software sends to the LLM. And here is a typical reply for the LLM. Uh, there's a lot about why the customer is disappointed and frustrated, but this reply from the LLM does not help the customer service reps deal with the customer email. To have a better response from the LLM, here's the trick. Be specific and provide sufficient context. In our workshop, we teach three ways to make your prompts better. They are one, persona, task, and context. Two, one, feel and multi-shot. And three, chain of thought. Let's apply each of those to your application. All right, sounds great. Uh, tell me more about the first one, uh, persona, task, context. Let's talk about each one of those. First, you'll get better results if you tell the LLM what persona it should adopt, shaping its communication style and output. This could be like, you are a helpful customer support agent. Got it. And what does task mean? You need to tell the LLM what to do exactly. This might be a good description of the task you are trying to achieve. I see. And then uh, context? Context provides the specific background for the task. It equips the AI to generate relevant responses tailored to the situation. For example, you could describe a goal or a metric. It might look like this. All right. So you gave me good texts for persona, task, and context. Uh, do I just add that to the prompt? If you're going to use them over and over again, you can add them to a system prompt. The LLM will be guided by the system prompt and your regular prompts afterwards. If you fit this into the LLM, you will get a more helpful response. Excellent. That is a better result. Next on your list was one few multi-shot. Yeah, shot here means examples. If you need the LLM to generate response in a certain structure, you would need to give examples to guide the LLM. For example, if I need the LLM to follow this particular format for sentiment analysis, I would write an example input and an example output and include them in the system instruction. As you can see here, the generic response is very similar to my example. The first sentence explains the overall sentiment of the email, and the second sentence explained with words or phrases from the email that convey that sentiment. Hmm, got it. Another popular use case for multi-shot prompting is to format the response to certain data type. For example, JSON. This format can make it easier for people to understand. It can also make it easier for other applications to process the response. For example, we can ask the LLM to provide output in JSON format by updating the system prompt. Yeah, uh, JSON format would actually make it easier for my application to process the LLM's response. Yeah, if we use a system prompt with your customer email, we may get this response, which is shorter and easier for other software to parse. And now we can feed the LLM multiple emails at one time and get them back as a list in JSON. I like that. Uh, the last item on your list was chain of thought. I've heard that term before, but I don't know what it means. Typically, when you're training a new coworker in a task, it often helps to divide the work into steps. LLMs can also use the same kind of support to improve their accuracy. And what might that look like in my application? Here's one way of doing it. You tell the LLM to think about the customer's core request, their tone, 
and how to show empathy with them when responding. After getting a better understanding of the customer, let the LLM decide on the most helpful action to take and what tone to adapt. Finally, if you're telling the LLM to check for clarity in its response. And those chain of thought instructions would be added to the system prompt? That's right. If we do that and feed the customer email to the LLM, we get this back. The LLM formatted its reply as a JSON and it proposed a response email. I like how it proposes a response email. My application could show that to the customer service representative so they could edit it and send it back to the customer. And my application could also let the customer service rep view the reasoning if needed. Uh, this would really help them do a better job and faster. When I work with cloud customers, I often see them using AI to help their employees. An LLM can be a powerful tool if it's integrated with an employee's regular applications and processes. I agree. Computers and people can accomplish a lot if they work together. All right, let's recap. How do I create a better prompt? First, apply persona, task, and context to your prompt. Tell the LM what persona it should adopt, then tell the LM what to do. This is task. And then give LM the context, for example, by describing a goal or a metric. Next is one, few, and multi-shot. Often, we want a specific format to the response. For example, we can ask the LM to provide output in JSON format. We would do it by including the examples in our system prompt. And then there's chain of thought. Think of LM as a new coworker who needs you to break down their work in simple steps. Ultimately, the more information we provide, the better equipped the AI is to understand our intent and generate a more tailored response. Thank you for showing us this, Lan and Ryan. And uh, now I should go back and update the prompt in my application. Thanks for having me, Martin. It was great to be here. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have questions for Lan, Ryan, or me, please add them to the comment section. Also, let me know if there are any other serverless topics you'd like to hear about in future episodes. I read every single comment. Until next time. Mm -hmm.